Hello, I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv, and this is your Monday morning devotional. Well, I've noticed something about our teens at church lately that is quite encouraging. They're not embarrassed by us older Christians. Going to church, uh, singing spiritual songs, being among so many adults, this is not exactly cool. Yet, every week I see one or more of our teens bring a friend of theirs to church. This tells me that they are not afraid to acknowledge their Lord and that they love and respect their youth minister enough to introduce their friends to him and all in all, they must think that the rest of us are okay as well since they're not worried that we'll embarrass them in front of their guests. Of course, they are not the only ones who bring friends to church. I see many others who do so and I encourage them to continue practicing this type of evangelism. And so today, I'd like to make a couple of suggestions for those who have friends that they regularly bring to worship services. Bringing them to church is a great first step, but to this step, you need to add a few other things in order to help their faith to grow. First, make sure your conduct outside the church building is the same as your conduct inside the church building. If it is not, your poor conduct outside the church will merely reinforce the widely held concept that Christians are hypocrites. Number two, let your friend know that the church is your first priority. If you're with your friend when you should be in church, when you are in places with your friend that you know church people ought not to be, you're showing your friend that church is not really that important that God's word does not really mean what it says. If church is important to you, your friend will grow to respect that and hopefully want this as a priority in life as well. Number three, be concerned for your friend's spiritual life and not just your friendship. True friends want what is best for each other. For example, if you find a bargain, you want to share it. If you discover a great new song or movie or restaurant, you want your friend to experience it also. If Jesus Christ is at work changing your life, transforming your character, filling your heart with peace and joy and confidence and knowledge, would you not want your friend to have all of these things too? Your friend will eventually find out that spiritual things are important for you. Your friend also needs to find out that their spiritual well-being is important for you as well. Now, there are ways of demonstrating this to them. First of all, let them know that you are praying for them and are willing to pray for specific needs in their lives. Secondly, continue to invite your friends to church so that they feel comfortable there and begin to develop friendships with other Christians. Thirdly, Love your friend with Christian love that is pure, kind, forgiving, fair, and generous. They know Christ by experiencing his love in you. And then finally, invite your friend to study the Bible with you. The word of God is most powerful when it comes from the lips of a friend. It is in a Bible study where the key issues of salvation will come up and your friend will be brought to the point of decision whether to believe and obey Christ or not. You see, it is not enough to bring your friend to church. You have to bring your friend to Christ if they're to be saved. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope that you'll have a blessed week and I'll see you next Monday, Lord willing. Discussion questions number one. Describe how you successfully brought a friend or family member to Christ. Question number two. In your opinion, what is the main obstacle in bringing others to Christ? How do you overcome this? Number three, share one way you use to begin sharing Christ with someone else. 